ladies, it's Kim. I'm here to film an update. Sorry I haven't been on a while. Um, I just had really had nothing new to report. Um, but my husband and I have decided to do our third round of IVF um, starting in January. We just kind of figured that this year has been horrible with our IVFs and um, recently my dad was put in the hospital, um, found out he had cancer and, um, kidney failure and stuff. So, um, he's doing a little bit better now, but, um, we just chalked this year up to being like not in our favor. So we're like, you know what, let's take a break. Let's try to just enjoy the rest of the year. We're going to be, um, going out of town to Florida for Christmas to see my in-laws. So we figured, you know what, we'll just enjoy the holidays and resume in January. Um, but one thing the doctor did after my miscarriage, the doctor wanted to see me for a couple of tests and they did, um, they, he said most likely it was going to be the reason for the miscarriages was probably just cause like it was probably just a chromosomal issue, but he wanted to do a vaginal test just to, just in case. Um, so they just called me this week and it's been like three, three or four weeks since I even did this test and I actually kind of forgot about it. Um, so they called me with results and I swear to God, every time this one nurse calls, it's never good news. And it's like the, I think it's the nurse practitioner. She's just like the head nurse. And I swear every time she freaking calls, it's never good news. So anyways, she did call and Say they said they found something. Um, I wrote it down here. It's called mycoplasma, urea plasma. I don't know. It's they did a myco urea plasma test, I guess, and they found a bacteria um, down in my lady parts, um, and they said that that. It could be the reason for a miscarriage. We have no idea how that bacteria happened. Um, she said it's not, it's actually not an STD, but because it is a bacteria, you can transfer it to your partner. So we don't know who got it first or what. I mean, we're not like doing the blame game or anything like that, but um, it's just, it's just a bacteria that happened and it, I'm not sure if this has anything to do with the reason my husband has a low sperm count. Um, from some of the research I've done, it's possible that this could have been our issue the whole time. Um, but I did ask the nurse and she said that it's not related. So, um, I don't know. So we actually still want to talk to his doctor and see what he says about it. But in the meantime, they put us both on um, doxycycline and we have to take it twice a day for two weeks, uh, which is weird because they put that, I was on that when I did my egg retrieval, um, but I think I was only on it for like five days. So with this, they want me to be on it for two, want us both to be on it for two weeks and then they're going to test both of us and if I still have it they're going to um make me go on it for probably like a like a month or I don't know they're just going to keep monitoring me so I don't know how to feel about this because part of me is like super excited that they found the reason for the miscarriage and if we can fix this then we should be good to go next time of course, the other part of me is super irritated. Why didn't they test the, me to begin with? We could have saved a lot of money and a lot of headache um, and emotional distress and all that other stuff. So I'm frustrated, but I'm trying not to look back. I'm trying to move forward. Um, and hopefully that, I mean, I they weren't able to freeze any of my embryos. So, because they didn't... Uh, last time they got 16 eggs out of me and five fertilized. Um, I'm wondering now if this was cured, if they could have had more fertilized. Um, if he maybe, I mean, he may still have a low sperm count, but maybe after this is all fixed, maybe he won't have to go through surgery again to retrieve the sperm. Maybe he'll just have enough. I mean, I don't know. I don't know anything about this. If any of you have ever heard of this, please comment below. 
um, the, when I opened up, she sent me the actual results of the test and it came back and I wrote it down. It says, so it says mycoplasma hominis and the results were not isolated. I have no idea what that means. So if any of you know, please let me know. And then below that it said, um, urea plasma species and the result for that was isolated. So I don't know what that means. So if any of you can help me, please let me know. Um, base, and I know I could, I can ask the doctor, of course, I'm going to ask them next time I see them. And, um, she just basically said when I was like freaked out, she was just like, don't worry. It's just a bacteria. We're going to cure it with antibiotics and you'll be good to go. So I know I'm looking way too into this, but I just want answers and hopefully this is our answer and hopefully we can resolve it. And I guess since it is a bacteria and not a virus, that's a good thing because I guess with viruses, you can't really cure them a hundred percent. So with this, it should hopefully be cured after two weeks of antibiotics and we should be hopefully good to go. So, um, that is the latest, and if I find anything else out, I will update you guys in a couple weeks. Um, and I know we're hitting the holidays, so I don't know if they're going to even be able to see me around Thanksgiving time. So, um, anyway, I will update you as soon as I know anything. Um, thanks for watching, and please comment below if you've ever heard of this or know anyone who's gone through this and had a successful pregnancy. Please let me know. All right. Lots of baby dust to all you guys. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.